Cheers to another great day here in Japan. Good morning from Japan. Good morning from 7 Eleven here in Tokyo. I am like the 7 Eleven queen. I uh, have been coming here every day for breakfast. They have these awesome pancakes that have like maple and margarine in them. So good. I don't know if you can see, but there's like that goodness in the middle, and the coffee is like a dollar. $1.60 Canadian or something, such a good deal. So if you're on a budget and need to eat, 7-Eleven is actually a really, really good place to do that. Don't judge me until you try it, it's um, not bad. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we are gonna head out and check out a digital art museum. It looks pretty iconic, so let's uh, chow down, power up, and get on the road. <laughs> Just waiting in line to get my tickets here at the train. It is super easy to use public transit here in Tokyo. Basically, all you do is you open up Google Maps, look at where you want to go, check out your final stop, input the stop in the machine, and it tells you how much you owe. It's really easy and very cost effective. <laughs> <laughs> Super busy already and it's like 11.30 a.m. Waiting to go inside and then it's gonna be beautiful, beautiful art time. They were so interactive, like if you touch the wall, it actually interacts with you. It was totally worth the trip out here. It was like an hour from Shinjuku on the train. Just made it back to Shinjuku and turns out the restaurant I wanted to go to for lunch, the ramen spot, doesn't open till three. So we have a little bit of time to kill, so I figured we'd walk there. It's like 20 minutes. The GPS says it is right around the corner. I hope there's not a line or anything. Yeah, as expected, we are closed. Aww, thank you so much for waiting. Please use the blanket. We hope you'll stay warm. That is so nice. I love that. <laughs> There's a couple of us out here now, or like, I don't know, six of us out here now waiting, and they open in like 10 minutes. By the way, it's called, I don't think I even told you what it's called, Shinjuku Ramen Oka. Oka. I'm gonna link it below. If it's good, if it's not, I won't. So we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much for waiting. Thank you. It's so cold. <laughs> Yeah. Oops. Oh, thank you. I ordered the regular size spicy vegan ramen and I'm so excited. I'm so chilly and I feel like the ramen is just gonna like warm me up from the inside. Like hot soup is like the only thing I want right now. This actually looks incredible. They have vegan caviar, soy meat, a whole bunch of vegetables. Oh my god. The broth is amazing. The noodles are just like perfect. As my Italian self would say, they are al dente. It is time for dessert and we have a little bit of tea here. This is the Japanese traditional dessert called mochi. Ah, mochi! Yeah. I haven't had mochi yet. Okay, I hope you yeah. enjoy it. I've had, I mean, I've had it before but not on this trip. It's so good. Mochi is the best. Ready to go. Thank you so much. That was like, oh. Every other ramen I've had is terrible now because oh, that is so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.
love you guys. Okay, <laughs> so much. Bye. So we are gonna just keep exploring and keep wandering through Shinjuku. There's a silly little store I want to go check out called Don Quixote. What's it called? Again? I'm just walking through the middle of Shinjuku and there's this beautiful area here. Even though I am freezing my tatas off right now, the thing I love about walking around a city is that you just run into stuff that you wouldn't otherwise see. Like so nice. is actually called the Hana Zono Jinja Shrine. This is what Google Maps tells me because I searched my location and it is so stunning. Again, this is why I love walking when you're discovering a new city because you just happen upon things like this that are so magical, so beautiful, and you would have never otherwise seen them. So even if it's cold, do your best to try and walk around a new city because you're gonna find something you didn't expect to see. I saw you in waterfall. That is it. This is where we are. Very busy Tokyo. So apparently the store is really good for like cheap, funny gifts. I don't know. I, I don't really know that much about it. I just heard that it's a good thing to see when you're in Tokyo, so. They have lots of socks, apparently. <laughs> Major dollar store vibes. Double liner trainer. Solar cat. More solar cat. Hello Kitty face mask. That was super interesting to see, but I don't think I'm actually gonna buy anything because I don't like buying stuff just to buy it and like throw it away, you know? Um, it's pretty wasteful, so. Next we are headed to a spot called the Golden Guy which is an alleyway that's similar to memory lane except it's mostly just bars. So to find Golden Guy, we have veered off the main busy road in Shinjuku and are walking down an unlit back road. This sounds like where I get murdered, but hopefully it's not. <laughs> You're seeing this video, I didn't get murdered. I think this is it, but it's not quite open yet. It's supposed to open at like 5.30 p.m. and it's 5.15 right now. It looks like there's one place open here. I'm gonna go up and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. Are you open? What time does the bars normally open here? Check the schedule. 5 p.m. 5 p.m.? Yeah. It's all closed though. Close. 5 p.m. Yeah. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Yeah. Oh, they're open till 5 a.m. Yeah. Okay, wow. Thank you. I am having some sake here. Woo! Nice sake. That's sake. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Tiny little walkway here. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna stick around Golden Guy until it actually gets bumping tonight, but I would say come at about eight o'clock is when things will start to pick up and everything will be open. 5.30 p.m. is definitely too early. Something to note when you come here, you're gonna pay a cover charge at pretty much every place you go. So they usually will write it on the door, but ask before you order a drink because sometimes the cover charge can be up to a thousand yen and that can add up if you're going from place to place. But it is a really cool vibe here. I would definitely come back, especially if I was traveling with friends. This would be a really fun place to hang out for the night. But honestly, I'm not gonna wait for everything to open because I'm just by myself and yeah. I am so sad to say that this is the end of my trip to Japan. Man, I can't believe how amazing it's been here. And I also can't believe this is my first time visiting this amazing country. So thank you so much for following along for my Japanese adventure. I am confident that I will be back very soon. I, uh, I just, I love it here so much. It feels like, it just feels right, you know, when something feels right and I need to come skiing again when there's actually snow. <laughs> so maybe next year I'll try another mountain and hopefully they will have the big dump of snow that Japan usually has. But either way, this trip has been the trip of a lifetime. I have experienced so many new things in such a short amount of time. I absolutely love it. I feel so honored to have come here. So thank you for watching. Thank 
thank you for your support. And tomorrow morning, I'm flying to the Philippines. So the adventures continue. Stay tuned for that. And make sure you leave this video a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments. Turn on the little notification bell. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the Philippines. Bye.